Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. Um, just wanted to do a little video about carbon monoxide and raise awareness about a couple of things that I have um, recently found. And I got a, a Testo 320, which I had purchased, and I've been doing combustion analysis on gas boilers, uh, oil and gas, and also oil and gas furnaces, space heaters. And uh, recently, I've been starting to do some stuff with gas stoves. Now, um, a furnace and a boiler, okay, a space heater, they're all vented into a chimney. Now, that falls under a different category where the, the, the pots per million, the CO levels have to be a lot lower because it, it's a heating device. Now, a cooking range, okay, is what they call temporary. Now, I talked to a, quite a few different people about it. They shoot for under 100 pots per million on a gas stove because it's a temporary device. Um, the factory, now it's only a little tiny pissy ass little gas burner under there. And the gas regulators are non-adjustable. You can adjust the top burner sometimes, but the bottom burner, you can't, you, the only thing you can adjust on a, on a stove, there's a little air damper. And um, the gas valve is preset at the factory. It's factory set. You can't adjust it. So, um... I've been doing tests on them as I come across them, you know, and you make sure they're under 100 parts per million. But when they first start up, you know, when a, when, a, when a gas burner first starts up, it's putting off quite a bit of CO until it comes up to speed, up to temperature, and then the CO will start coming down. So I'm just doing this video. This stove is in my own house, um, and I just want to raise awareness uh, of what's going on. Now, with a gas stove, unless you have a hood that's vented outside, okay, if you got a hood that vents into the into the, the living space, you're dumping all that CO right into the living space. So it's very important that people get carbon monoxide detectors that have a gas stove or any kind of appliance that they have, a boiler or a furnace. They should have a, a CO detector. But another thing I want to raise awareness of, these CO detectors, they don't go off those 70 parts per million, the ones you buy at the store. 70 parts per million, that's in the living space. So, you know... 35 parts per million in a living space, you're getting you're getting a good dose of uh, carbon monoxide. You know, it takes a while if the stove's producing CO to, to fill the space up. Um, you know, but it's something to think about. It's something that you need to be aware of. And it's always good to vent uh, a cooking appliance outside or open a window when you're doing a cooking. That's why I'm doing this video. Just to raise awareness and let you guys know what's going on. You know, we all get all upset about, oh my God, the, the cracked heat exchanger on the furnace. You know, people are people are going to be breathing in CO. Oh, yeah, that's that's a legitimate concern, but that's also vented into the chimney. So most of most of that CO is going in the, up the chimney with a stove. It's all going right in the house. But anyway, watch the video, and uh, I got mine dialed in pretty good. I think I got it down to like um, I don't know what it was. Uh, 30 parts per million after I come up to speed, but when it first coming up to speed, it was dumping out a lot of CO into the into the space. Now you could have one that's that's not adjusted, that's dirty inside. You never had it checked. You know you could be dumping off you know thousand parts per million out of that stove. You don't even realize it. That's the reason for the video. Get your stove checked. Have somebody come in and check your stove, check your boilers, check your furnaces for carbon monoxide, um, and get yourself a carbon monoxide detector a good one for the house and every couple of years buy a new one they're only good for a couple of years now you can buy a one that, that goes that, that goes down into low levels like um two tech tool sells them they're like 150 bucks but you know that thing will read like you know um you plug in the wall we get five pots per million it's going to show up five pots per million not 70 but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully i didn't make it too long Alright guys, I'm just going to do a little video about this stove. This stove is in my own house. All the air bands are opened up as much as I can. And there's, um, these regulators on these stoves are non-adjustable. They're factory set. They're factory preset. And um, you can see that it's you know, relatively clean inside. Stove. I'm going to put it on bake. And we're going to see... Uh, this is vented outside. I'm going to put this thing on bake, 350, and I'll start on my test oven and I'll stick my probe in here. We're going to see what we're putting out for CO. Be surprised what these stoves put out. Um, now with the stove, 
it's considered temporary. So it falls under the category where it's temporary. So it's on bake. We're gonna see what this thing's putting out. Like I said, if you have a stove, it's always good to make sure it's vented outside uh, or a cracker window. On a furnace or a boiler, has a chimney. This doesn't have it, it vents into the space. So let me get my um, my meter going and we'll see what this thing's putting out. Alright, so I can start it up and it's clear. This is my little personal um, CL detector. I know one thing, when the stove first starts up, it's going to be kind of high CO until it comes up to speed. Well. Natural gas. Just doing this video to raise awareness of what what these things can produce. This number right here is what we're looking at, the 280, 284 parts per million. That's the one that we're looking at. Um, as this thing comes up to speed and the temperature comes up to speed, that will come back down. Let me get my personal meter and we can see what it's putting off right here. Obviously, it's vented. But a lot of times, these cook stoves aren't vented. So standing right here, it's being vented out, so it's one pot, zero pots per million. Uh, because I got that vent now. If I didn't have that vent going, and um, that CO was dumping into the house, obviously it's gonna um, be an issue. It's starting to drop now. Okay, it's starting to drop now. But that's 530 pots per million spewing out of this sucker. You don't think that's a lot of CO? Shit, yeah, it is. Now that I got this vent, this vent going, it dumps outside, obviously it's safe to run as long as the vent's running. So we're starting to get a little bit of climbing here, two parts per million. Alright, we're starting to drop now. Seal's starting to drop. Been about three, four minutes. Now, how, how many times do you know people lose their power in their house and they got no heat and they turn the gas stove on and open up this for, for to heat the house up? That's how people die.
like I said, as it comes up to speed, as it comes up to temperature, um, you know, the CO will go down. I set it for 350 because that's a that's a common uh, temperature that you would use on a stove. Like I said, you can't adjust these regulators. The only thing you can do is a little air band in there, and I got it op open all the way, give it as much air as possible. All right, we're starting to drop now. Watch my meter, watch my meter go crazy when I put it in that stream over there. I don't want to get it too close and cook it, but 50 pots per million. You know what? It's fine. It's starting to drop. You've seen the levels that this thing was pumping out. I'm doing this video as an educational video to help people to realize what's going on out there. And this is the elephant in the room. Gas stoves. It's the elephant in the room. And, um... Scary. Scary stuff. that drop down. Alright guys, I'm at 350. See that temperature on the top when that stops dropping. I'm gonna turn it up, turn up bake to 450. Under a hundred parts per million. It's actually dropping down pretty good here. I talked to I talked to a lot of guys that do um, combustion analysis on stoves. I talked to a couple of guys that do it, and um, they usually see in the sixty parts per million range. Um, and I asked them the same question. They said anything under a hundred is um, you know factory what they shoot for see so it's down to 50 parts per million but it also took me you know almost 10 minutes to, to, to start dialing it in and, and bringing it down to where it's an acceptable level so when you first turn on the stove uh, when it's first coming up to speed you're, you're spewing all that CO into your house all that carbon monoxide into your house actually 40 parts per million that's pretty damn good You know, I'm zero parts per million right outside this, the, the, the arena here because I got this vent hood and it's venting right outside. Um, I just think if this wasn't vented outside, vented into the living space. Thirty pots per million. The stove's actually running pretty clean, considering. We'll see how low the CO goes, but it's always good to get a CO detector to have in the house. But them don't go off till seventy pots per million. That's when they start going off. Five, 24 pots per million. That's really good, actually. Um, a lot of the stoves that I see, you know, I can get them down around 60. Uh, some of them I get down in the 30 ranges, but a lot of them are up there in the, in the 60 ranges, which is um, acceptable for industry standards. I've had quite a few firemen um, 
leaving me comments and told me thanks for doing these type of videos because it raises awareness uh, to help people out, especially like for the firemen. They see a lot of that. All right, that's about the best I'm gonna get at 20, 21 parts per million. It just rang, it's, uh, it's at 450. So 20 parts per million is relatively good. But you've seen the CO that it was pumping out when I first started it into the space, um, not vented. Can I said anything under 100 parts per million and it's acceptable. But now if you're cooking a turkey here and you got the stove going all day and you got the windows closed and no vent, you know, you could have an issue. I'm raising awareness so people have their stoves checked. This is what this video is about.